Welcome to Tamar Bowling Video Ball Reviews. We need your support, so if you like what we do, please support us by joining our Patreon page. I want to thank Limerick Bowl for their support. If you're in the area, don't forget to visit Limerick Bowl in Limerick, Pennsylvania. Let me introduce our new partner, Haley's Pro Shop. A big thank you to Jeff Miller and Ron Hoppy. Don't forget to check out Haley's Pro Shop in Burlington, Washington for world-class drilling and coaching. Welcome everybody. Today we are testing the new Radical Squatch Hybrid. We have it on our heavier volume house shot and the Dell Ballard 34 foot sport pattern. First impressions, nothing but strikes folks, nothing but strikes. I mean, you might not be sure, but it does the business anyway. For value, I'm giving this Squatch Hybrid an A+. It's very versatile for the price, plain and simple. On the house shot score, also gave it an A+. This review is not hard at all, to be honest. This, despite this being a higher than normal volume house shot, the Radical Squatch Hybrid was a strike machine. And don't be deceived by the more direct lines. I mean, the, the point is that it didn't feel weak even for the heavier volume. It just had to be a little more uh, direct. So you could just find the right line and get on with your execution. Uh, for me, the line was about 12 to 8, and the simple track line. I, I also pushed further left to see what it looks like, um, and you can see it still work beautifully from 10 to 6. The ball doesn't struggle for length, given the compound plus the polish finish. The more important aspect is what it does down lane. It feels smooth and very readable, yet still punchy. I'll steal this term from a friend and say it feels like it's climbing towards the pocket. I had a Reacts 2 a few years back and I remember a similar characteristic with what essentially is a very similar core. You think it's going to be late, um, you're not sure it's going to make it, and then you see how it goes through the pins and you realize it was going to make it the whole time. It's, very, it's a very unique characteristic that I've seen with Radical Balls in particular, especially this core, um, whether it's the symmetric or asymmetric version. Um, so the bottom line is... When you're in the zone, it gives you a nice wide pocket and blends release variations very well. Given the volume, when I bumped in, the ball told me immediately it was coming behind the head pin. So if, if there was one weakness, I would say, um, you know, you couldn't really open up the angles too much, um, but it told you right away when you did that. And again, this is a higher volume uh, house pattern, so that could also be uh, coming into play here. Just a really quick comparison here, while the Melee Jab SE and the Squatch Hybrid don't seem very far apart on house, the Melee Jab SE does allow you to chase deeper. It doesn't give up axis as hard as the Squatch Hybrid, so you can step down to the jab if you want to circle it more. Since this is a higher volume pattern, Brian was a little more direct uh, than usual, but he still saw a clean and angular move, and most importantly, he had forgiveness missing left and right. And this is really what I was referring to as well. When you find the zone where you want to play, you get a ton of room down lane with, with the Squatch Hybrid. Um, he goes up you know, six or seven and, and sees that strong move through the pins. He misses in and holds for a trip four. Uh, he misses out and gets an even harder move, bringing it back. The ball was angular enough to leave him a few untripped fours but still a great look overall. Um, he was able to move you know, two and one as it broke down slightly. Um, but you can see that on this pattern, once he uses more belly, the ball loses some of its oomph down lane. And that's basically what I saw as well. For the sport shot, we're on this 34 foot Del Ballard pattern. And this is a bit unique, but showcases some of the flexibility of this ball. For me, it's a touch cleaner than I would like, but I, I would, just want to stop at the compound instead of the polish on top which it has uh, at a box I had some forgiveness in but less out because this is after all still a 30 mil pattern and this house doesn't usually have the strongest pop off the outside boards honestly you might think this isn't ideal but it was fun to throw here on the right side the pattern has a handful of games on it so not quite as crisp as you know it would be for a fresh shot but that actually makes more sense for this ball and by now it should be noted that it was unsurprisingly forgiving brian had a very good look and probably could use this ball in competition 
uh, at precisely this stage of breakdown of the pattern. Final thoughts, I try to give the objective evidence in my reviews, but I can't help but be subjectively excited by what I saw. The Radical Squatch Hybrid is easy to use. And like I said, when you find the zone, you'll have an open funnel with it, basically. Um, both you know, our styles, Brian and I, saw the same thing. Uh, for Radical fans, you would have seen this core in the Yeti balls. Um, so this is not unique to Radical uh, reusing stuff, but hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Thank you.